Hello and welcome to another video on our channel. Today I want to talk to you about something very serious. We put more and more data in our accounts on the internet these days, and especially with the recent Twitter hack, people are more and more concerned about their data. But you don't have to have it get to the point where your accounts are compromised. Even a very safe password can eventually be guessed by a computer, so something I want to recommend to you very strongly is two-factor authentication. It makes your accounts virtually impossible to hack into. So here's everything about two-factor authentication. Two-factor authentication uses your smartphone as a second method of identification when you log into your accounts. This means that even if a hacker tries to break into your accounts, he or she would have to steal your password and your phone to get in. There are a few different forms of obtaining the code for the identification. One works by sending a one-time identification code to your phone after you entered your password. The second option is by far the most ubiquitous. It uses a code generator on your phone so you don't have to be able to receive messages to log in. This saves you from being locked out of your accounts when you don't have access to a mobile network. Recently, some websites have introduced the third form of two-factor authentication. Google offers you the opportunity of just unlocking your phone and hitting yes on a sign-in prompt. And the LastPass Authenticator connects to a browser extension on your PC and generates these prompts even for websites that don't support it natively. So with saving yourself from hackers being that easy, there's really no excuse for not using two-factor authentication at this point. All the major services like Google, Amazon, Twitter, Instagram, if this then that, and so on, offer two-factor authentication. Unfortunately, not every smaller website does, but you can check which websites support it at a link in the video description. Enabling two-factor authentication is reasonably easy. For most websites, you'll find the option in the security settings of your account. From there, you'll be prompted to enter and verify a phone number, so you're not locked out of your accounts when you uninstall the generator app. After that, you'll get a QR code on your screen that you have to scan with the generator app on your phone. The app I would recommend is LastPass Authenticator. This is because of the reason that I mentioned before that, with the LastPass browser extension, you can log in by just clicking yes on your phone without having to enter the code. It streamlines the process a lot. After you're done with the setup and you entered your first code, the website will probably want you to write down at least one backup code that it will provide you with. It's very crucial that you do this and keep that code safe and do not save it in your account. You will need this code if you want to get into your account when you lose your phone. If you don't have it, you will be out of luck in that case. Now you have two-factor authentication all set up and ready to protect you from hackers. I can just again recommend you to really take my advice seriously and do this. I have two-factor authentication set up for all my accounts and I really enjoy the comfort of not having to worry about my also important data. Do yourself a favor and give yourself this comfort too. Give this video a thumbs down if you totally like your accounts getting compromised by hackers. But if you liked it, press the like button and get subscribed to our channel for more content like this and also check out our talk series for very interesting behind the scenes tech content. You should also follow us on Instagram and Twitter to be notified every time we post a new video or a tech related article on our website which you should also visit because there you'll find the written version of what I just said in this video. You should also follow me on Twitter because I post a lot of cool stuff there. But with that, I want to thank you all for watching, and I'm going to see you in the next video.